Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today, well, we're going to talk about rats. Uh, let's do this real quick. Now, as you know, I'm not going to say I have a rat problem, but I have a problem with at least one rat that I know of, and I'm going to be a little bit proactive about it to hopefully, well, seal up any holes that this rat might be taking advantage of because I don't want that rat inside my house. Now, I have gotten a mouse or two inside the house up in the ceiling. At least I hope it was a mouse because you can kind of hear it on the drop ceiling and then you hear like the chattering, but that chattering of the teeth kind of makes me think it's a rat. And then this was last year maybe or something like that once when it was really cold outside. Knock on wood, it hasn't happened this year and I want to make sure it doesn't happen this year considering uh, I, I know what's outside. So let's go do this. Make sure that you plug that in for me. Yeah, I got it. You're welcome. I plan on sealing up the holes with this wire mesh and whatever boards I can fit in there. And this I'm really going to use for the hard to reach places where it's going to be more difficult to use a piece of wood to seal up the holes. And now that I can actually see what I'm doing, well, hopefully we can eliminate anything coming into my house. 12 by 15. Remember that 12 by 15. Some wire mesh back here. Oh! You see that? Here I am trying to seal up holes for the rats, and look what I found. You alive, little guy? You alive or dead? You say, I'm just hibernating. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna flip you over here. Come on, yo. Come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> you see that little guy? He just wants to sleep. He's saying, let me hibernate. Let me go back to sleep. Yeah, we'll find a new spot for you. Not over here. like that I think we're pretty much sealed up here there's a couple more spots I want to check a couple more spots that they might be getting in but I, I want to check down below here to see if anything well see if there's any ambient ev ev <laughs> any evidence of anything getting in I'm gonna seal that hole up now I've heard many different things on how to deter rats I don't know what's true and what's not true, but what makes the most sense to me is, well, to seal up every single entry point that the rats may have to get inside your building, house, garage, shop, whatever it is. Seal it up. Look for the trails. Rats will leave like a dirty trail. You'll usually smell them. And I think that's how rats kind of find their way too. They can smell the trails they've been in. And if their eyesight isn't that good, just like mice and everything, and they're, they're traveling along the walls and the edges and everything, set an unset trap. Yeah, set a trap that you didn't set yet. Right up against that wall till they get used to going over it, then set it and then put it there so you get them. That's if you want to use traps. You can use bait if you want. The only downside to bait that I find, if you didn't seal up every entry point and you put bait out and then the rat or the mouse or whatever gets the bait. Now, the bait's supposed to make them want to, I think, go to water. So they should leave that building or whatever and get out of there. But if they go back inside and get inside your walls and then die in your walls, uh, that's not too cool. And I don't know how the bait works in the sense of if the rat or the mouse eats it, then goes outside and dies, and then another animal eats it, what happens? Hopefully the animals don't eat the well, insides where the bait would be so that they don't get poisoned. Either way, I don't like using poison or anything like that. This is just talking to uh, an exterminator that came out at one of my previous jobs and really just trying to find out more information so I could do this stuff myself if I had to. 
like now. So really all I'm trying to do is seal up every single entry point and go from there and eliminate and clean up the yard so there's really no place for them to go and hide and keep your yard maintained. Now the woodchucks are making it really difficult for me because they like to dig underneath the very ground that I'm standing on and I can't really control that too well except for keep sealing up what they dig and I mean I can't seal up anything that they've dug underneath the floor here so everything else likes to go and use those same burrows. Not too much I can do for that, except for seal up every hole, but then I don't know where the, you know, if they have a hole over by some tree or in the neighbor's yard, and it makes its way all the way over here. So that's kind of frustrating, but you do the best you can. So I think I've been talking kind of long enough today, so I'll see you on the next one. And the other spots I checked, uh, they're pretty clean. So I'll see you on the next one.